My graffiti name is Wise2 and I'm a graffiti artist. I am based at Power254. No, it's how basics just like sketching on, you know, sketch pads and stuff like that before you can go on, get on the wall. When you get on the wall, it's not as easy as it looks. So by the time I got to being more professional in the work that I do, it took me about five, six years. On a professional side, graffiti art here has been accepted because it is not what it used to be in the US. Because those guys grew up uh, maybe in the 70s or the 60s, introduced to graffiti in not, in a, not in a very socially accepted way. It was more of how you're going to put your name out on the trains or any kind of a bus or a city uh, wall or, you know, just, just, just any public space. How are you going to take control of that? Yeah, but here it's a bit different. But we would tag and, you know, we would do a piece here and there. But it's just that the society does not understand the dynamics of graffiti. So it's my graffiti in Kenya is more about expressing yourself. The message is so pure. You can write what you feel like writing or you can paint what you feel like painting. So you have thematics that you, you know, as an artist you would follow. So my research is more based on hieroglyphs, ancient forms of writing, African patterns, tribal markings. That's what I use psychedelic patterns. It makes sense because there's an abstract to it and an abstract part of life has this duality where uh, it's fixed and at some point it's not fixed. So there's that balance that I try to strike. But uh, we do a lot of work, we do a lot of consultancy based on design and art. Uh, also the part of activism, how we can use art to activate uh, different parts of society. It doesn't have to be demonstrations in the streets. It could be just activation or self-activation. I like doing a lot of masks, African stuff. That's my favorite because when I travel, I do that and I get more uh, appreciated for it because I'm not trying to do the New York kind of graffiti or the European kind of graffiti because it's already been done. I'm trying to bring something fresh into this graffiti scene. African motifs or just you know, textile prints on a large wall. It has its own appreciation. I think at some point everybody has the potential to start their own, whatever it could be, art, design, manufacturing. Everybody should follow their dreams.